Good night, sir. Hello, good evening. Hi, Gloria. Hi, thank you. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Oh, good, good. And you? Uh, good, teacher. Good. Hey, that's nice. It's very great to see you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Are you ready for another class? Yes, I'm ready, teacher. Okay, good. Did you study? Yes. Okay, fine. So this is something really, really good. Let me see. Open the um, Okay, here we go. Platform. Okie dokie. Okay, do you see the platform in this moment? Yes. Can you see the, the, the platform? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, good. teacher. Uh, what do you okay. see in this moment? What is a picture with a uh, family, family, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. So then this is the one that we don't need. Okay, this is the midterm exam, okay? Uh, did you have any problems with the listening? Any doubts? Remember that one next strategy to do this ones is to first listen to the No listen, teacher. Okay, okay, yes. yes. The waves were really scary. It was often very windy. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. No, yes, right? Listen and check the correct yeah, answers. Yeah, right. So, Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow, what did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. 
but I still love the trip. Okay. Then you can listen to this part, you know, like two or three times, and then to para familiarizarse, right? To get acquainted with the vocabulary, the information. And after that, you listen again. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. And then you can listen and check the correct answers. Here. So Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. Where it was my go? first time there. Australia, did you right? enjoy it? Well, yes Australia. and no. I yes, wanted to go straight, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No, uh, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still love the trip. So Peter was where? Italy. 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 And the weather? Okay. And the weather was okay. Good. And there you have the strategy for the listening exercise. You can listen many times before you answer the, the questions. Then you have complete the conversations using, for example, instructions, complete the following conversations. You need to finish up the question, WH questions, words according to the response given. You can choose among long, good, often, and well. Okay, so how? And remember, you can use, you can choose among, often, long, how, often, often, often. Okay, how often? The next one. Well. How well? The next one. How long? How long? How long? How long? In the next How one? Good. How good are you? And this one you have to select, choose the correct pass form or the verb given in parentheses. Did you stay? Say, what did you do? Do, do, do. I when, went, went, went. Oh, really? Yes, we have. Uh, uh, we had. Where? Where, 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 where were you? Where, where? Where, where? The next one? Uh, was, 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 was. I was. I was in the laundromat. Ben. 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 There you go. Okay, there you have 20 points. Then the next one is choose the answers and you have this correct answers. Excuse me, is there a gas station near here? Yes. Well, that is there is. There is. Wow. Wow. Okay. How? 
Many. 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 How many? Many. Okay. There are? Few. Few. A few. How, are there any, how many? There are a few. A few. Is there? Is there? Much. 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 And the last one. No, there isn't. And oh, no. any. one. Any. There isn't any. Very well. Okay, write a scramble sentences. Now, put the words in the correct order to make sentences or questions. What is the correct order? I often see after dinner. I often watch TV. After dinner. After dinner. Okay. The next one. Do you ever drink coffee in the evening? In the evening. Okay, the last one. Yes, that's an exercise very much. Yes. Exercise. This is the capital. Yes. That's it. Hey, yes. That's it. Doesn't 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 what exercise exercise, exercise. Very, very much very, very much. much very much and here question mark. Here. Oh, okay. Let me check. Do you ever in the 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 coffee drink coffee is uh, double, double e. e. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the other e is missing. That must be. Yes, that's it. Okay, so was Mrs. Bell. That's correct. Okay. And the next one was the reading section. So okay, we almost do right all the time. And that's it. Okay, and that was the, that was the, um, okay, this is what we practiced last night. Okay. Now we have here unit five. Okay, people, any questions?
Do you have any questions in this moment about the uh, topics that we have studied in the previous lessons? Doubts, questions, comments? No? No, teacher. Okay. If, uh, remember that, um, uh, to complete, if you have uh, exercises from the previous units, from the previous lessons, the sections, try to complete them this weekend, right? Because uh, we're gonna finish next Thursday with the classes and the platform has to be completed, okay? Then in this session, we will learn about present perfect. And then present perfect is put in practice during the conversation. Uh, what is the present perfect? Who remembers that? It's the action in the moment uh, right now. Oh, re oh really? Repeated. It's activity repetition. The, the activity happening at the moment is the present continuous. Okay. Uh, the, and the, the action perfect? and the con uh, action is the Everything, action, everything. ¿Cómo se dice? Acciones repetitivas o constantes. Yeah, but uh, what does, what is the moment that it, it happens? Sí, I, I... In what moment, from what moment to what moment? That's the, that's the idea. Huh? For example, when you say, uh, I have studied English for Two years. Oh. It's an action, the present perfect is an action that began in the past and is still in the moment. Okay? From the past to the present. Okay? And probably continue in the future. Okay? So that is when we talk about the present perfect. Okay. Uh, for example, this is a uh... I work in the in the office um, two years all in this the moment. No. Yes, uh -huh, but you have to say, I have worked. I have worked. I have worked, I have worked in the same office for two, office. Year, for, for two years. For two years. For two years. Okay. This is the action began in the past. And uh, for the moment. Is still alive or still continues in this moment. Okay. Okay. I'm still alive or continue. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. So that is the idea of the present perfect, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Wait a minute. This is important. Okay. Let me. Let me see if we can. Okay, this is the the past tense. Okay, the past. Okay, the action begins in the past, and this is the present. Mm -hmm. I have worked at uh, where? I have worked at a short name Puka for two years. Okay. When did the action begin? It started in the past. 
1919. In the present? 2020. 2020. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, then here. Let me see if we can expand it a little bit more. Okay, in past, I worked at Puka. Okay. In present, work. You say at work. I work at UCA. Okay. In the present continuous, is, I have worked at UCA for two years. Then we connect. Okay. We connect the present with the past. Okay, you see the connection? Yes. Okay, that's the idea, right? And then that's where it says, trabajé, trabajo, y he trabajado. Mm -hmm. okay. And maybe, bueno, Mm -hmm. Can I say I have worked at UCA since 1980? Uh, 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 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. Is correct. Of course. Same. No, but this is a mistake. Más de años. <laughs> 2018 since 2018 okay yes you can say la duración o desde cuando okay okay so no, no problem okay you can say I have worked at UCA since 2018 and I have worked at UCA for two years. Okay. Questions? Okay, and here you can use all the verbs. I have worked, I have eaten, I have seen, I have played, I have listened, I have studied, I have um, watched, for example, I have watched the Avengers movie two times, okay? Desde que salió la película hasta hoy, I have watched the movie two times, okay? Desde el pasado hasta ahora, okay? I have eaten a pizza many times, okay? He comido pizza muchas veces, right? So then, uh, this is from a moment in the past in our life to the present, okay? Always remember, present perfect, okay? Connect the past with the present and continue in the future. You can say, uh, for example, you can say, uh, let me see, probably, um, who said, where is, it's missing. Who works at uh, Akahutla Port? Yesterday you told me. Who works at Akahutla Port? Hello, teacher. What is the, the answer? Who, who works, the question, who works at Akahutla Port? I work. Uh, I. I work uh, at Acajutla. No. I, Who works? ¿Quién trabaja en, Aca, en el puerto de Acajutla? I am. I teach. I am. Who? I teach. Wilfredo. I am. Wilfredo, right? Right, right. Yes, Wilfredo. Okay, this is the idea. Wilfredo 
Mi jefe, Will. Ajá. Mucho at, gusto. At Gracias. Work, Igualmente. At work at Acajutla Port. Port. Since. Since when? No. 1996. Mm -hmm. 1996. Okay. That's for 24 years. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, good. A house car. Where do you work? Okay, report. Ah, you too. Yeah. Okay. And then Oscar. My boss is Will. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Since when? Since? Uh, no, this is... Uh, two, zero, 20? Zero five. 20, zero five. 2005. Okay. Uh, for actuality. Okay, for 15 years, right? Yeah. Okay, so you see, you can use has worked, okay, uh, also for the, for other people. For I, you, we, you, they have, for he, she, it, has. Okay? Good. Now let's listen to the, to the conversations and pay attention to the present perfect. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know... I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Questions? Car? They're a lot of fun. Okay. Any questions about vocabulary or expressions? No? Uh, Tom? Mm -hmm. What happened with Tom? Todd. Okay, in your WhatsApp? Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, Tom? is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Uh-huh. Yes, I'm here. Uh, sí, like, uh, in what meaning? Tall, tall. Parecía ahí en la primera línea. Tall. Tall is the name. Uh -huh. T-O-D-D is the name. Ah, okay. Is the name. Ah, okay. Tall is the name of the man. Sacre, it's great to see you. Todd, have you been in New Orleans long? Okay. Well, in your WhatsApp, you have the conversation, okay, that we were watching, uh, that we were listening to. Teacher. Yes? What do you mean? What do you mean a street car? Okay. A street car? Yeah. Those are like the, I remember this uh, in San Francisco. Como los tra las tranvías. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, thank you. Okay. What else? Only? Okay, Link. look at... Look right at then, the, teacher. You could be, teacher. Right there. Right then. Reading. Re reading. Reading. Uh -huh. Viajado o montado. Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Mm -hmm. oh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. All right. Riding a horse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever ridden a horse? Killing. Which one? Killing. Oh, killing. Killing. Mm -hmm. Ah, my, my feet are killing me. Los pies me están matando, right? My feet are killing me. What else? Check the vocabulary. Tell me. more okay then uh, look at the conversation okay and in the conversation there are some questions what is the first question that you see in the conversation have you been in new orleans have you been a uh, uh, let's say um if you yes, been club. to a jazz club, uh -huh. another one is, uh, uh, have you ridden in a street car? And then those three questions, right? But you can say, for uh, example, have you eaten fish? Have you eaten a uh, sushi? Okay, have you seen, a, for example, the have you seen the, um, let me see, the Spider-Man, Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man movie? Have you seen the Joker's movie? Okay. So then okay. in this moment, write uh, questions using have you. Have you seen, have you been, have you uh, eaten, have you played using the present perfect? Okay, five questions. Okay, write five questions. Mm -hmm. you, okay. you can see the examples in a conversation or you can invent your own questions. Okay, fine. I give you five minutes. Okay, five to seven minutes. Individually, okay, write and after you're going to tell me your, your questions. Then uh, just give me a second.
Leyendo un libro. Escribiendo un libro. <clears throat> uh, teacher, uh, yes. question. Uh -huh. uh, question. Five questions, but yes, five questions. Using have okay. you? Okay. Remember that uh, in this case, when we use the, um, uh, the verbs, they have to be um, in past participle. So tenemos ride, roll, ridden, eat, a eaten. Vamos a usar la tercera forma del verbo, right? No problem? Okay, are you done? Who is done? Who has finished? Okay, let me see. Stanley, how many questions do you have? Mm, I think it. How about no? Have you? Uh -huh. No, 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 this one, for example, is like if you have, uh, si ya viajado en tranvía, right? For example, have you ever written, a, have you ever written the, how do you cook, what's the name of the bus here in El Salvador? <laughs> I forgot it, the, the one from Soyapango to Metro Centro. What is the name? Citram. Citram, Citram, I forgot, se me olvidó. Okay, have you ever written the Citrams? For example, I have never, I have never, I have, I have, never, I have never, I have never written the Citrams, okay? Have you, have you written the Citrams? No? Okay, that could be one question. Have you written the streetcars? Okay, another question, uh, Stanley? No, teacher. Uh, okay. Oh, see. Mm -hmm. uh, Digamos, como, como explicar, have you written a, a airplane? Have you ever, no, uh, have no, you ever no, flown? No, no, no. flown? Flown. 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 Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Flown on an airplane? They say, yes, I have. Okay. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Correct. Okay, good. And um, okay, thank you, Alex. Uh, yes, teacher. Read questions. How do you writing? 
course. Have you even? Have you read? Have, have you written? Have you reading horse? A horse, okay. Have you been in Amsterdam? Okay. Have you ridden in motorcycle? Mm -hmm. oh, mm. Esa, esas son las que tengo, teacher. Okay, good. Perfect. And Carmina? Okay, tengo algunas. Um, have you ever eaten Italian food? Okay. Good. Uh, have you ever seen The Hobbit? Have you ever seen The Hobbit? Okay. And uh, ha, have you been hospitalized? Have you have you been have you been to a hospital? Okay, or have okay. you been in the hospital? In the hospital. Mm -hmm. That's it, teacher. Oh, okay, very good. Okay, what about Gloria? Any questions? Um, no. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Who else? ¿Quién más tiene preguntas? Hechas. Oscar, Angel, Brenda. Hey teacher. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, are you reading a motorcycle? Mm -hmm. uh, are you have you flown airplane? Mm -hmm. uh, like I see in the exercise, have a ride a street car. Have you ridden a street car? Uh, have you ridden? Have you have you ridden? Mm -hmm. Have you ridden a street car? Have you ridden a street car? Uh, Finish, so you. Okay. So you. Good, good. Anybody else? Uh, teacher, are you eating food chain? Uh, Chinese food. Uh, Chinese food. Have you eaten Chinese food? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Chinese food. Ok, any other question? The idea es, es eh, que ustedes usen la estructura, vean la, la necesidad de qué verbos van a utilizar, ok? By, you know, preparing and asking your own questions, ok? For example, have you eaten Chinese food? Eh, podemos agregarle, eh, for example, the, um, let's say in the chat. Let me see, have you ever okay have you ever eaten chinese food and then the question mark okay have you ever eaten chinese food then you can uh for example the uh, use the word ever which means alguna vez Okay, si alguna vez han comido, eh, ¿cómo es que se llama? Eh, comida china. Okay, please, uh, the microphone, please, who has it on? Okay, then uh, the question uh, with the word ever, look in the chat, have you ever, ever is alguna vez. Have you ever eaten Chinese food? Okay, have you ever... In Chinese food. Eaten, uh, how do you call it, sushi? 
sushi, okay? No good, teacher. <laughs> uh, have you have you ever been to Italy? Oops. Well, question mark. Have you ever been to or in Italy? Podemos a las dos. Wait. Have you ever been in Italy? Okay. Then you can say, have you ever uh, flown? Have you ever flown? Plane? Okay. Have you ever ridden a camel? Okay. So those are the possible questions that you can ask. If you see you are using eaten Eat. Let me see if we can um, wait a minute. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Uh, have you gone uh, to the Cameroon ever? Have you ever? Have you yes. ever? Repeat the question. Have you ever? Uh, have, have you gone gone? Have you ever gone? Gone the cam the Cameroon ever? Have you ever? Have gone? you have you repeat? Uh -huh. Have you ever? Have you have you ever? Uh huh. Gone mm -hmm. the Cameroon to the Cameroon. Uh -huh. Okay. To the Cameroon. No, I haven't. Okay. Okay. You say, have you ever gone to the Cameroon? Uh -huh. Says no, yeah, I yeah, haven't. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What else? Another question. Have you ever live in used? Have you ever? Live. Live. Lived. Live. Uh-huh. In use? In? In the use. In the USA. Hey, in the USA. In the USA? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay. Have you ever won a medalla? A medal. Have you yes. ever won a medal? Yes. Medal. I, I have some trophies. I have some trophies here. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Have you seen the movie Fast Furious? Have you seen the movie Fast and Furious? Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. Uh, yes, I have. The eight movies. Okay. Have you ever become from El Salvador? Have you ever? Have you ever be become become from El Salvador? Have you ever become become? No, I don't get that one. Have you ever been? Oh, been okay. okay. Been to, to El Salvador, yes. Have you ever, Have you ever become El Salvador for no. this uh, and this question? No, but no, it's being, it's being. Be. Uh -huh. okay. Have you ever been? Have you ever been? Have you ever be? become? Been. been. No, been. 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 Have you ever been to El Salvador? Yes, I have. Have you ever played? Guitar. Have you ever played a guitar? Okay, uh, yes, I have, but very little. But 
Not too much. Okay. What else? Have you ever uh, the scene? Have you ever? Have you ever had the scene? Mm, no, I don't understand, Oscar. Have you ever? Have you ever uh, ride a motorcycle? Have you ever arrived, ridden? Have you ever ridden? Have you ever ridden? Uh -huh, a motorcycle? A motorcycle. Then, uh, no, I haven't. Well, yes, I have, but many, so, many, so. Year, many years ago. <laughs> many years okay. Ago, when I was a teenager. Okay. okay. Well, in this moment, I'm going to send to you um, in the chat, but in the WhatsApp something, okay? Pay attention to the list. Okay, just uh, let me see when it is ready. So they, there are some words that you can use. Just need to open my WhatsApp. Okay, another birth. Teacher, yes. have you ever been touched a snake? Have you ever touched? Uh -huh. Have you ever touched a snake? Yes, I have. Uh, okay. It's very cold. Very cold. Yes, I have. What else? Have you ever played football? Yes, I, of course I have. That's my passion. Okay. Te teaching English and, and, and playing football. Okay. Okay, what else? Have you ever written? A card, a card. Have you ever written? Written. Written uh, a letter. A letter. A letter. Yes, I have. Okay, good. Yeah. Now, okay, now you have a list of birds. Okay. In PDF. Okay, and then you can practice with the birds in the. In la tercera columna, right in the third column, we have, for example, a buy, a boat, a boat. Look for the most common. Busquen los más comunes que ya conocen, porque aquí hay muchos que tal vez ahorita no los conocen, right? But uh, you can use, for example, a B. A, cuando estamos usando el presente perfecto, no siempre se usa el bin, right? You have to use, have you ever? Y de ahí se pone el verbo que uno necesita. Si es, si es, if you want to say, have you ever been? Si usted ha sido o ha estado, then you use been. For example, have you ever been, uh, let's say, uh, have you ever been a model? Ha sido modelo? Okay. Uh, have you ever been in the United States? Ha estado en los Estados Unidos? Okay, so th these two forms. But if you want to use, have you ever, uh, let's say, begun, have you ever begun working at 3 a.m.? Have you ever begun to work at 3 a.m. alguna vez? Have you ever begun to work at 3 a.m.? Okay. Ahí te dejo esa lista para que practiquen. And let me see. Okay, this one.
Okay, here. Uh, in this session, we'll study the present perfect with already and yet, and ask and answer questions using the present perfect. Okay, with a regular and irregular pass. Now look. Hi, in this lesson we will study present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples, has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Okay. Hi, in this lesson we will study present perfect with already. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Okay, so here you have, for example, the yes, no questions, answer yes, and answer no with long answers, okay? And you can see the contractions. I, you, is, she's, it's. Es similar al verbo to be, he is. La diferencia es que después van a ver un verbo como eh, she is reading, she's reading, she has reading. No van a ver un verbo como she is working or she's playing. Entonces ahí es donde se diferencia, no hay, no, para que no haya confusión. Okay, uh, with, they, haven't, and hasn't. Then. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, year. We haven't seen her. And then you have, for example, here, when we make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time. Entonces, when do we use the present perfect? Cuando se hace referencia a un tiempo, a un periodo de tiempo 
que no ha finalizado. I have worked hard this week. Ok, he trabajado duro esta semana, pero todavía me falta mañana y el sábado. Ok, eso es un periodo de tiempo no terminado. Ok. Eh, it has rained a lot this year. Ok. Por ejemplo, este año ha llovido bastante. Más que otros años, los años anteriores. Has rained a lot this year. Pero sigue lloviendo. Ok. Entonces no ha terminado. Unfinished. We haven't seen her today. No la hemos visto hoy. La vemos tardecita. Right? So, el día no ha terminado. Unfinished. And repeat. Oh. The repeated action that was, was Oscar was saying. Okay, so if you see, eh, posiblemente no sea difícil entender la estructura, pero sí se necesita saberse los verbos de la lista que les mandé. Right? So that's, uh, that's important to, be, to have more practice, okay? Okay, uh, okay? So we're going to stop here for today and practice with those verbs. And on Monday, we're going to have a lot of practice using this, this structure, right? Have you ever... Uh, and then yeah. affirmative, negative, and interrogative questions. Uh -huh. Angel. Yes, Angel. Lo mando al grupo de WhatsApp. Yes. Yes, you got it there. In your cell phone. Okay. Solo lo que creo que no you're not in the group no why because I say I in the correo que le mandaron hay un link para unirse al ah ok al whatsapp yeah. una se ahí y este y ahí me iba a ver mi teléfono y me lo pide ahí se lo puedo oh, okay. mandar mm -hmm. ok ok ok, okay. All right, good. Okay, everybody. Okay. Have a good night. Okay. See you on Monday. Good night. Okay. You. Bye bye. Good night. See you on Monday. Good night. Thank you. See you on Monday. Good night. Enjoy good your night, weekend. Good night. Good night. Good night.